Hello, I am Veena, a member of Math360 product development team at IBM. Today, let's delve into the Math360 user risk management feature, which is a critical tool for administrators to tackle the security and compliance concerns of the organization. Let's begin this journey by configuring the feature. For this, navigate to the setup section, proceed to the services screen, and go to the user risk management options and activate this feature. Upon activation, we shall gain access to the security dashboard and risk rule configurator, which can be navigated from the security menu also. Let's navigate to the risk rule configurator first. By default, few risk rules are already configured post activation of the user risk management feature. Although, Administrators have the flexibility to tailor these rules to align to their organizational trends over a period of time by closely observing the behavioral patterns and violations. From this page, we can edit and configure the rules. We can view all the rules with its sub rules at a glance with the options provided in this page. We can see the rules descriptions by hovering onto it and also we can enable or disable the rule. Similarly, we can enable or disable the sub rules. Even we can tailor the rules definition with simple clicks. Severity levels can also be toggled and we can even save or cancel the configurations or reset the risk rules to their default state. Based on all these configurations, Security Dashboard provides a user-centric automated view of the organizational security posture. We can directly navigate to the Security Dashboard from the Risk Rule Configurator page. In this example dashboard, this displays the metrics such as the total number of risky users, risky devices, risky incidents, and the average risk score within that organization. Additionally, this dashboard highlights the trends based on the incidents occurred. Moreover, it allows the comprehensive view of incident security postures through the risky incidents view. We can see the top risky users in the organization and the risky postures associated with the specific users. We can go to the view mode for the comprehensive list of incidents associated with the users. The user list view offers a detailed breakdown of each user, their associated devices, their overall incidents of the user and their respective security postures. Furthermore, we can drill down to explore each user's details. We can see the detailed view of the incidents of each device of this user. Also, to view the real-time security events, we can navigate to the main security dashboard page and see the events from here. Notably, administrators also have the capability to take immediate actions by quarantine users or devices using the customizable quarantine templates enhancing security measures swiftly and efficiently. So in all these pages throughout the Mass360 user risk management interface, convenient quick links are strategically placed to offer detailed information about the feature and ensure navigational ease. These links facilitate a seamless transition and enhance the overall user experience and making the totally incredible user-friendly app. Overall, the Mass360 user risk management feature proves to be a robust and user-friendly solutions, significantly enhancing the security and compliance within any organization. Thank you for this insightful journey throughout the feature.